Hey everyone, so in this video I'll be showing you a children's book that I created. Now I just want to say that I did not do niche research on this children's book. So normally you definitely want to do niche and keyword research, however I created this book because it means a lot to me personally. So I'm kind of just going to go over my book on Amazon and then a little bit of detail of how I made the book. So I hope this video is helpful. So here's my book on Amazon. It just got published. It says January 27th, 2023, but I don't think it's actually been fully loaded for that long. It took a little while to get all of the features on here, like the look inside and the description. So the title is Emily's Journey to Being Diagnosed with Celiac Disease. So originally, I actually had the character's name as Jess, but having Jess's journey to being diagnosed with celiac disease, it just didn't flow as well. And since this is a children's book, I figure it might be hard for them to say. I think Emily might be easier, but I could be wrong. But anyways, Emily is just a random name that I decided there's no significant meaning to that. I just wanted to have a more simple name um, that kind of flowed well with the title. So my cover here just has Emily's journey to being diagnosed with celiac disease written by Taylor Hazelton. I have Emily, who is the main character right here, and then I have the gluten-free um, symbol here as well, which is, I'm not sure which organization this is from or if it's even from an organization, but the whole point of the book, or part well, not the whole point, but part of the book is talking about how Emily is now gluten-free because of celiac disease. So the cover is very, very simple. I did, I think, Chewy font, and I believe I did Chewy font for the whole inside as well, and it definitely could be done way better. I did this in about two days, and I know, I know that this is probably never going to sell, so I really just wanted to get it out there because it does mean a lot to me. This book, the plot, and just the meaning of the book means a lot to me. So I didn't want to spend too much time on the cover or interior because I know it's probably not going to make me sales and right now I'm trying to make enough money where I can do KDP full time so I couldn't spend a lot of time on it currently but I wanted to get it out there. I wanted to get something out there that I was actually happy about so I am happy with the results so far. So I just have my name for the author name. Um, I have $7.99 for the price and that's because, well, I looked at some of the other competitors and some other children's books, and some are cheaper, some are more money, but I like to make sure I'm making some sort of a profit, so that's why it's $7.99. And then for my description, I have Emily's Journey to Being Diagnosed with Celiac Disease, here bold, which is the title. Uh, Emily starts having symptoms in school and is terrified about what the outcome may be. She goes through her journey to ultimately being diagnosed with celiac disease. This children's book shows her initial emotions and sadness, but turns it around into a positive experience. There is a section in the book dedicated to writing your own celiac disease journey. So after the end of the story, I actually have a few lined pages where people can write their own story. And that wasn't originally going to be in the book, but I honestly did not have enough pages. So I had to add some pages because the minimum amount was 24. So it actually worked out because I think that's great for children to write their own or adults or really anybody, teens, um, anybody can write their own story. You can get diagnosed at any age. So this book is simple, cute, and shows some perspective into having celiac disease. Author Taylor Hazelton, I wrote this book. This is, this is kind of like my own like little personal note is what I was trying to get across. I'm not sure if I formatted it right, but it's okay. I wrote this book because I don't feel like there is enough recognition for celiac disease out there. I got diagnosed with celiac disease in November 2019, and I wrote my personal book called It's All in Your Head, but I wanted to create something for children as well. I hope this book shows kids that it's okay to be upset at first, but there's a lot to be happy about. So I do have my own personal book called It's All in Your Head, and it is on Amazon as well. I probably should have pulled that up so I could have shown you all that too, but I didn't, so... I might be able to search it, um, but I do have it on my page as well, especially in my unboxing KDP book video. I actually have a physical paperback copy of my book, but I have that in hardcover and ebook and paperback. So this book is only paperback, um, not enough pages for hardcover, and I just didn't do an ebook. So let's see what the look inside feature shows. It just shows my first page and then the back. So. Honestly, I probably should have it show more, but that's okay. 
and it definitely not has not sold yet, but that's all right. It's 8x10. Uh, I figure that's probably a good size for a children's book. And I just made it in Canva. So all I did was I figured out what size I wanted. So 8x10. And then I googled the KDP um, bleed versus no bleed. That whole help document there. And I figured out the dimensions to have bleed because that's what I wanted. So then I just did create a design, custom design. And then I selected the correct one. I don't remember the dimensions right now, but I made this entirely in Canva. And I have a video on actually cre creating children's book interiors. So you can check that out if you would like. And let's see if I can show you my book. It's all in your head by Taylor Hazleton. Because I just really wanted to have both books, so it's actually right here, which is nice. And it's currently free on Kindle with Kindle Unlimited, so if you'd like to check it out, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, even though if you didn't pay for the book, I do get paid for pages read, so, which is awesome. And I believe I also have a note section in the back here for the hardcover version because I did not have enough pages. So... I have my book at $5.99, which is pretty cheap. Um, it was honestly like one of my very first books and it's fine. Like I'm not upset about it, but I definitely don't make a lot off of it. Um, the hardcover is a bit more at $14.99, but it has a lot more cost. And I published it December 24th, 2021. And it took me a, a few weeks at least to write it and do the cover and this is like when I was just learning so I'm still really happy with how the cover and everything came out because I was just learning how to use Canva but I have my entire book here I have a dedication dedicated to anyone feeling alone or lost in the world to the ones who have started to believe their symptoms are fake and then I have the contents this is a lot of work and a lot of learning and I have my chapters then I have on the back so, okay, freaking out here. There we go. So I didn't even know what celiac disease actually was when I get diagnosed, but I was just thankful for an answer and still am. Like many other people, I spent years with mysterious symptoms and normal test results. Normal in quotes, but I can't really show you guys quotes on this video. <laughs> many doctors, friends, and family told me it was all in my head. I'm sharing my story so people know that they aren't alone. Your symptoms aren't all in your head. There are people out there who will believe you and who will help you. I go through my entire journey on being diagnosed with celiac disease, and I hope being this vulnerable will help someone else who may be struggling or feeling alone. So this book means so, so much to me. And I'm sure, like, there were some things after I published it that I forgot to include, but I was just so excited to finally get a book out there. Like, I've always wanted to write my own book, so... This book means a lot to me, and I really wanted to be able to reach children, reach another audience, so that's why I created this new children's book that I have. So I hope this was kind of inspiring or helpful or just in some way gained some value to you, but I really, really appreciate it. If you watched and listened to this entire video, it truly does help the channel out and helps me out, and I know some of you have actually purchased my own personal book, and it means so much to me. So thank you all so much for the support. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you all have a great day.